In my 26 years at Kaiser Permanente, my partnership with Jody has been among the most meaningful in my career. Jody is one of the most empathetic, brilliant, fierce women I know. She's so present and so genuine and just authentic in, in the work that she's trying to accomplish. And she truly believes that good paying jobs are the gateway to improving health outcomes. Jody Lesh has been a real inspiration to the LADC. She has such a clear vision of an inclusive economic development strategy focused on all the predeterminants of health but she's also such a compassionate leader. Her deep caring for the people of our communities has really inspired our entire organization. The Cultivate program in Southern California and Jody's leadership role in that movement is an amazing example of what can be accomplished when we leverage all of the assets of Kaiser Permanente. So it's not just about the community benefit dollars, it's about the way we hire, the way we build, it's about the way we invest and procure, and all of this is so key to the way we think about community health. My position at the time was looking at where we place new facilities. And I started looking at some data, and to be perfectly honest with you, I stumbled upon a piece of data that really stunned me. And it was one of those light bulb moments in your career. We were looking at where we were placing medical facilities in South Los Angeles, which is really the most disadvantaged part of Los Angeles. And we were comparing that to another area of Southern California. And we realized that we had a whole area of Los Angeles that was so underserved. Kaiser Permanente's work with Second Call in the development of the project over on the old Marlton Square property in the Crenshaw Baldwin Hills area created opportunities for people whose lives were changed. Jody got to know those people individually. She tells their stories at our meetings and humanizes the work we do. She has opened up the doors for people to feel welcomed at Kaiser Permanente. A lot of people come and they build in the community, but they never empower the community members. They just take the money and take whatever the community has to offer. I think what Jody has done is empower the community where they can feel at home at this Kaiser. This wasn't really, at the end of the day, a business initiative. This was really a very much a personal um, endeavor. And the way it became personal is investing yourself in understanding the actual people that we were benefiting and understanding their stories. You don't hear, you know, vice presidents and senior vice presidents talking like this. And you don't see that happen every day. So when you do come across it, it stands out because it's genuine. The other day, it was interesting, my son came to me and, and he asked me, does it feel good to give? He asked me if it feels good for me to give, and I said, it does. It feels very good to give. I said, why do you ask? And he said, because it felt really good for me to give. And I think that that's a big part, too. I don't want my children to just see that work is a place where you go and earn a living and then go live the rest of your life. That work is a place where you should use every opportunity to make a positive impact on the people around you. We have so much influence on the people we do business with. We have so much influence in our communities, on our legislators. Uh, there's just, I, I think this is so barely scratched the surface. There's so much more to do. You know, there's this saying, passion ignites vision, and we're on fire at Kaiser Permanente. Congratulations, Jody. I marvel at how you balance your role as a parent, your commitment to leading your organization, and the time you give to organizations like ours that need your civic leadership. You are so deserving of this recognition. We're really proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jody. On behalf of Second Call, you deserve it, and we're here behind you. Thank you for all that you do for the community.